Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, you? teacher. Good evening. Hello, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Noemi. Good evening. So, welcome, Andrea, Julia, Maria, Crisia, Adriana, Brian, Steve, Noemi, and Luis. Welcome to the class. It's nice to see you tonight. How are you? Tell me, how are you tonight? Well, tonight, I am fine, teacher, but it's okay. all, all day, all day was very hot. Yes, you are right. It has yeah. been really hard to do in mm -hmm. this day. Yes. Okay, in the rest of the class, how are you? How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, Andrea, thank you for your answer. Anyone? Any other answer? Well, yesterday we were talking about present continuous or present progressive, right? So to present, to make sentences in this tense, we need the verb to be and also the verb in ing form. So let's start with this question. What are you doing right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? I, uh, I am studying English. Okay, perfect sentence. Any other action? What are you doing in this moment? What are you doing right now? I'm drinking coffee and taking the class. Okay, excellent. I'm drinking coffee and taking a class. Perfect, thank you so much. Any other answer? What are you doing? Thank you, Emily Sophia. She said, I'm eating. Okay, enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Anyone? What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? That is the question. What are you doing? I am uh, I am studying English. I am studying English. Perfect same thing. Thank you. Anyone? What are no you se doing? Dice agarrando. I am agarrando water. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. I'm um, studying water, maybe. Uh -huh, yes. <laughs> okay. In class English. Okay. Está pendiente del, del chorro. Sí. <laughs> De la manguera. De la pila, no se le vaya a rebalsar. <laughs> okay. Any other answer? So look at me, look at me right now, what I am doing. What am I doing now? Can you see? What am I doing? You are calling. Okay. You are calling someone and calling. now what I am doing? You are drinking. Okay. Water. I'm, I'm drinking, drinking water. water. Okay, now what I'm doing? You are right. Okay, I'm writing. writing. And now what I'm doing? Sleeping. Sleeping, Sleeping. okay. Okay, and now what am I doing? Singing. Singing, okay, singing. that's perfect. Yes. So the sentence is, you are singing. You, you, are, are, singing. you are singing. You are, you, are, uh, you are talking by phone. And you are drinking water. Very good, now it's your turn. Let's see, any volunteer? May an action and we are going to guest. Hagan una acción y nosotros vamos a adivinar. What are you doing now? Any volunteer? Nobody wants. Uh, what did you say, teacher? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Ah, uh, think about an activity and make the mimics and we are going to guess what are you doing. Me, no, I mean. Okay, for example, no, I mean, she is talking by phone. Yes. She is talking by phone. Okay, anyone? Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Not okay. Oh, look at Luis. What is he doing? What is he doing? He's drinking, He's water. drinking water. He's drinking water. Thank you so much. Okay. Any other volunteer? 
Any other volunteer? Just mimic and we are going to guess. Okay, Oscar, what is Oscar doing? He's touching her abro. Okay, he's touching her abro. Okay, now let's see. Anyone? He is cleaning his face right now. Noemi is opening her notebook. Her notebook. She is opening her notebook. Oh, it, it's so cute. Is it Garfield? Do you like Garfield? Yes. Ah, okay. I love Garfield. Okay, perfect. No. So, so remember that. <laughs> no, this is Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> So remember that the person continued and we are speaking about what is happening now, what is happening in this moment, right? So for example, what is your pet doing? What is your pet doing right now? What is your pet doing? Sleeping. Well, walking, running, sleeping, jumping, sleeping. biting someone, sleeping. mordiendo a alguien. Sleeping in the sofa. Okay, my pet is sleeping on, on the sofa. On the sofa. Yeah. And what is your father doing right now? What is your father doing? My father is watching the TV. Okay, excellent sentence. My father is watching TV. Thank you. Any other answer? Any other answer? Okay, that was yesterday topic. Present continuous, right? The yes, no question, and also WH questions. That was yesterday topic. Tonight, we're going to study quantifier. Quantifier, uh, when we don't know the, let's see, the exactly what is the quantity of something, we use some quantifier right? in English and in Spanish. Cuando usted no sabe la cantidad exacta de algo, eh, usted dice, ¿qué palabras utilizan? ¿Qué palabras utilizamos? I no understand. No, I no. don't understand. No, that is a phrase. I don't know. You don't know? No, a quantifier es cuando decimos, por ejemplo, ¿cuánto de sal le echo a la sopa? Y usted dice, poquito, uy, eh. una uy, pizca. No sé si dos cucharadas <risa> o tres. Echale un puño. En <risa> Tantita sal. <risa> Echale un poquito. Entonces, esos son quantifier. ¿no? Un, oh. poco, un poco, eh, bastante, mucho. Eh, ¿Cuánta azúcar te le echo al café? No mucho, ¿verdad? No mucho. Me gusta amargo. Entonces, ese no mucho es un quantifier, ¿no? Yo lo eh, uso con mi vida. Ah, ¿Really? No, let's you see. are sweet. <laughs> she, she is very sweet. She is, she is very sweet. And, well, that is what we are going to study tonight. Those quantifier, but in English, right? So we are going to study all, nearly all, most, many, much, a lot of, a few, few, and no one, no. Plus. No. Let's, let's start with this. And tonight we are going to start. More or less. Um, no, not in this case. No. no? Okay. So let me see. Here we go. I'm sharing with you my yes. screen. Let me know, please, if you can see the presentation. Can yes, you are sir. ready? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. It is taking some seconds. Hold on a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, quantifier, that is the topic for today. And this is your class number 14. Welcome to the class. So in this lesson, 
Uh, we are going to listen a conversation between two people talking about their family's size using quantifiers. And also in this lesson, you are going to be exposed to quantifier and their meanings. What does this quantifier mean? What do this quantifier mean? So let's start with this conversation. We are going to listen and practice this. Okay, um, take a minute to read this conversation and let me know if there is a word that you don't understand. If there is a word that you don't know the meaning, tell me. Any new work, any new vocabulary in this small conversation? Mm, no way they... No, 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 Any other? Mm, no, teacher, for me, no. Okay, very good. So let's listen the conversation. Let's listen this conversation. Can you listen? Can you listen the conversation? Can you listen the conversation? Yes, no, no, no. 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 okay. No, teacher. No. Okay, let's see now. I come from a big family. Can you yes. listen? Yes. 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 Okay, pay attention please to the pronunciation and the intonation because you are going to practice after listening these conversations. So here we go. Come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, now let's see. The question is, how many brother and sister do Meili and also Marcos have? Two brothers and two sisters. Okay, you say three brothers and two sisters. And what about Meili? Meili. Does, does she have brother and sister? No. Only child. No, she doesn't. She's an only no, child. Yes, what, does, what does only child mean? What does only child mean? Any idea? Mm. Okay, can you ask eh, ¿Quién en este grupo es hijo único o hija única? No, brothers, no, sisters. Nobody? Everyone has brother and sister. Ah, that's pretty cool. So let's start with this. Um, look at this. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. So what this most means? Most families in China have only one child nowadays. So this most is a quantifier weight. It's como la mayoría de familias in China have only one child nowadays. Uh, no. And look at this other sentence. A lot of families are smaller these days. 
a lot of families are smaller these days. Uh, we don't know exactly what is the number of smaller families right, in the world. So we use a lot of, que significa muchas. Uh, muchas familias son pequeñas, ¿verdad? En esto, son más pequeñas en estos días. Y lots of birthday, it means muchísimos regalos de cumpleaños. Lots of. No es una cantidad exacta, pero significa muchos regalos. Una ventaja de pertenecer a una familia grande es this one, right? You get lots of birthday present. Is it true in your case? Yes, it's true. Yes, it is, right? Yes, it is true. Now listen again. Listen again this conversation. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Any to volunteer to practice in this conversation? Who wants to try tonight? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, let's say Wendy and Luis. Wendy and Luis first. So, Luis, you are Marcos. And yes. Wendy, you are going to read mainly part. Okay. Start. How many brothers? Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, mainly? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only child nowadays. Nowadays? Nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get love. You get a glove of birthday present. Thank you so much. That was a very good job. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Uh, any other two volunteers? Emerita and I need another volunteer. Emerita and just no one. Nobody. Me. Me. <laughs> okay. Who say me first? Say your name, please. Me, me and your name, please. Marcos. Okay, Jose Luis. Jose Luis and Emerita. Jose Luis, you are Marcos. Emerita, you are May Lee. You can start, okay. please. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Hello, Emerita. Okay, any other volunteer? Carmen, can you please? Okay. Hey. okay. Mainly, right? Yes, yes, please. Uh, um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Actually, actually. Actually, actually, I am. I am an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? 
Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Thank you so much, Jose Luis. Thank you, Carmen. Very good practice. Thank you. Now let's see where is Marcos from? Where is Marcos from? Marcos from, Marcos Mar from Peru. Peru. Oh, Marcos thank you. From yes, Peru. Peru. Yes. And what about May Lee? Where is May Lee from? Where is she from? China. China. She is from China. China. She is from China. Okay. And what about in El Salvador? Most families in El Salvador have only one child nowadays? No. Not really? No. In El Salvador, uh, all, more or less families have uh, two or three brother and sister. Okay, you can use this quantifier. Most families in El Salvador have Most two families. Two or three children. Two or three children. Most families in El Salvador have uh, two or three children. Okay. I come from a big family. Let's go with the next. So look at this. A quantifier is a word or phrase which is used before a noun to indicate the amount or quantity. So un quantifier is una palabra o una frase que se usa antes de un nombre para indicar la cantidad, la cantidad. So, let's see, here are some examples. All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, or a lot of, some, some, not many, a few, few, and no one. And now you, you can see this kind of blue, this blue bar here. So we are going to use this percentage, right? If we say no one, we are saying zero percent, right? No one. If you say few, a few, and not many, you are talking about the, the 10 to 40 percent, right? No muchos, unos pocos, pocos, many. A lot of in sound, you need muchos. So you are talking about the 50 to 70%, many, a lot of in some. And if you use all, nearly all, and most, you are talking about the 80 to 100%. Let's see, for example, you see all families have only one child. So you are talking that el 100% de las personas tiene solo un niño. The same case is in nearly, nearly all, casi todos, bueno, casi todas las familias tienen, nearly all families have only one child. Si so usted está diciendo que el, casi el 100% ¿verdad? de las poblaciones tiene un solo hijo o un solo niño, most families have only one child. Let's go with the next example. Many families are smaller this day. Muchas familias son más pequeñas en estos días. O actualmente. A lot of families are smaller this day. Muchas familias son más pequeñas estos días. So you can use some, algunas. Some families are smaller this day. Algunas familias son pequeñas, más pequeñas en estos días. No many, no many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples are more than one child. So you say eh, pocas, no muchas. Unas pocas parejas tienen más de un niño. No one gets married for the age of 18. So you say nadie, ni uno. Nadie, ninguno, gets married before the age of 18. Ninguno se casa antes de los 18. Is it true? Mm, it's false. It is false, really? Yes. False. Yes. In, in the case of El Salvador, yeah. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. 
now in El Salvador. ¿Y cuántos niños tiene la mayoría de familias? Entonces podemos utilizar all, nearly all, or most. Nearly all. Casi todas las familias tienen y la cantidad de niños. What do you think about that? Two or three children. Ok, then the sentence is all families. All families. In El Salvador. In El Salvador have. Have, have. Say two or two three, or three children. Children. Okay, excellent. Now let's see. ¿Cuál es la edad para casarse aquí en El Salvador? Hay la mayoría de personas a qué edad se casan más o menos. Twenty twenty four. Okay, then we can say that a lot of, a lot of gets married after the 30s. You say muchas, a lot of couples, uh, muchas parejas, oh, a lot of people get married after the 30s, después de los 30. ¿A qué edad va la escuela la mayoría de niños? You can say all, nearly all, or most. And you say most children, most children. go to school, school. Uh, uh, at eight, eight years. Seven. At seven, okay. La mayoría va a los siete. Most children yeah. go to school at seven years old. We're at seven. Now, let's see. Um, ¿Qué porcentaje de la población cree usted que puede cocinar? Many people, all people, nearly all people, some people. Not many people, a few people. What do you think? Many people. Okay, many people can cook. And what about men? What about men? What about men? Some men. Some, some men can cook. Can cook. Can cook. Okay. Ok, very good. Now let's listen to this example. Escuchemos estos ejemplos. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Could you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Ok, thank you. Here we are. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married no, before the age of 18. Okay, so let's go with the next. Let's go with the next explanation. Quantifier. So look at this. Quantifiers come before a plural noun. Eh, los quantifiers vienen antes de un nombre plural. Look at this. Nearly all women work nowadays. So this is the plural noun, the quantifier, and here we have the plural noun. So nearly all women work nowadays. Is this true? Casi todas las mujeres trabajan actualmente. Is this true? Yes or not? Yes. Yes. True. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, it is it's true. true. We use quantifier when we don't know exactly the amount or quantity. So remember this, right? Como no sabemos en realidad cuántas mujeres son las que trabajan, 
pero sabemos que son muchísimas, then we say nearly all. We can use most women, or also you can say all women. All women work nowadays. Most women work nowadays. And also nearly all. Let's go with the next explanation. And uh, there is an exception. Except no one. In la regla anterior vimos que los quantifiers van antes de un plural, ¿verdad? Excepto no one. No one. If the quantifier gets is the third. No one gets married before the age of 18. Eh, ninguno, ¿verdad? Nadie. Se casa antes de la edad de los 18. So, solo no one no va antes de un plural. Now let's go with the platform and we are going to solve the next exercises. Do you have any question at the moment? Questions? Any question? No teacher. No question. Okay, let's go with this. What is it? Use this. I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please. You can see it already. Yes, teacher. And we are going to work in this exercise. Any volunteer to read the instructions? Who wants to read the instruction? Okay, teacher. Read the following sentence. Select the responsive with the quantifier closest in meaning. Okay, now we have number one. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So in China, the 50% of women get married by the age of 22. So what is the right answer here? In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. In China, few women get married by the age of 22. And in China, all women get married by the age of 22. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, Noemi, choose this option. One. One. The one, okay. Who the has one. another option? Who has another option? All of you guys have the same answer. Um, to say a lot of is the right quantifier. Yes. yes. Uh, a few women yes. get married. Okay, Julia say few women, few women get married by the age of 22. But few no, don't represent the 50%. Okay, few is less than that. It's less, yes. Okay. Después vamos a chequear, ¿verdad? Vamos a enviar la respuesta a ver quién tenía razón. Okay. Si Noemi o Julia. Let's go to the next one. In Australia, 87% of married couples have children. In Australia, 87% of married couples have children. So the nearly first... All. So you say nearly all? Nearly all. Nearly all. Okay, nearly all. Nearly all. In Australia, nearly all of married couples have children. Very good. Yes. In the United States, 0% of people vote before the age of 18. No one. No one. Okay. No one. In the United States, no one's before the age of 18. Number three. Number three. In the United States, no one votes before the age of 18. Vote. Thirty-five percent of people in Germany live alone. That is number four. Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. So you say some people in Germany live alone. A few people in Germany live alone. Most people in Germany live alone. Some a few people. people. A few, a few, people. few people. A few people. A few people in Germany live alone. A few people. Number yes. one. Yeah, okay. Two, two. 
Let's see the Number last one. one. <laughs> Number one, some people. It's too, yeah, it's too it's no in me. It's too no in me. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Oh, we are going to discover that when I click on send. Yes. Now let's go seven number five. Sorry, seventy-eight percent of American high school students have jobs. Most the number one number one American most American high school most most American have high school jobs. students have jobs. No, many American high school students have jobs. All American high school students have jobs. Number must. one, must, must American. American. You say must. Must. Okay, let's click on send. Let's discover it. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh. Number four. There is one correct. mistake. Uh. You is the first. Uh -oh. Some people. <laughs> some, people. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, some people. Some people. Okay, yeah. sir. 35. 35%. So it's a few or most or some? Um, some. Some. Um, most, number one. Most or some? Number one. Some, most. Some, some, some people some. in Germany yes. love. Some people. Some people. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try again. Okay. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Noemi was right. Um, Very good. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about this topic? No question? No picture. No, okay. So I need to volunteer to practice here, please. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer to read exercise number one, the sentence in number one? Okay. I'm teacher. Okay, Luis. Okay. okay. In China, 15% of women get married by the age of 22. Okay, thank you so much. The second one, Noemi, please. In Australia, 87. ¿Cómo se dice porcentaje? Percent. In Australia, 87% eh, of married couples have children. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next one. Me, teacher. Okay. In the United States, zero percent of the of the people bought before the age of eighty. Thank you. Let's go with number four. Any other volunteer? Thirty-five percent of the people in Germany live alone. Thank you, Wendy. Live alone. Live. Live alone. And the last one. Anyone want to read the last one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Jeffrey. 78% seven, per, percent of American high school students have jobs. Thank you so much. Okay, is it difficult or easy? Easy or difficult? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Um, if you are single, can you please write on the chat if you are single or married? Single or married? Write on the chat, please. So you say, I'm single, I'm married. Let's write the text on the chat. So. Okay, so one, two, three. Mero. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Now let's see. Can you please uh, write on the chat if you had brother or sister? Do you have brother or sister? So you say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Do you have brother and sister? Right on the chat, please. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Okay, now you are reading the chat, right? You are reading the chat. So now tell me, uh, do you have pet? Do you have pet? So yes, I am. So you see, yes, I am. I have pet. Yeah, Ruth say, yes, I am. Oscar, yes, I am. I have pet. Torcita, yes, I have. Yes, I Yes, I am. Crisia, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, now using this information, can we write sentences? Uh, tell me the first one. Bye. Que... ¿Cuál quantifier podemos utilizar para decir que la mayoría en el grupo está soltero? Single. Pueden leer que la mayoría está soltera. ¿Cuál de los quantifiers podemos utilizar? Most. Nearly all. Nearly all. Ok, so let's write the same thing. So we can use nearly, like this one, all. Nearly all people in the group, yes, single. Is it correct the sentence? Yes. Nearly all people in the group are single. Then the other question was, had brother and sister. ¿Cuál quantifier podemos utilizar de acuerdo a los mensajes que leímos? Oh. All. Okay, we can say all. All people in the group have brother and sister. Brother and sister. Very good. And what was the other question? Have a pet. Okay, have a pet. ¿Cuál quantifier podemos utilizar de acuerdo a los mensajes que recibimos? Most. Not only most, right? most people in the group have pet. Okay, now let's ask a question. Who can cook pupusas? Can you cook pupusas? Tell me your answer. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes. I can. Uh, you are right in the chat. Okay, let's see the answer. So, yes, no, I can't. Jose Luis said, no, I can't. No, I can. Ronald said, no, I can. Wendy, yes, I can. Emerita, yes, I can. So, estamos como en 50 y 50. ¿no? Estamos en 50 and 50. So, ¿Cuál sería el quantifier para decir? ¿Cuál quantifier podemos utilizar? A lot A lot of. Many and so many. A lot of people can't a lot of people can cook pupusas. La mayoría dijo no, right? No, I can't. Muy bien. Now coffee. 
¿Cuántos pueden cocinar café? Can you cook coffee? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I can. I like. Yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. 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 Ingrid, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, Sobre I can. todo el musum. <risa> lo, lo está promocionando. <risa> Buen comercial. <risa> ok, all so people. All people. All people in the group. Ok, all people in the group. And cook, cook, cook coffee. coffee. Ok, now let's see. Um, si no tenemos el número exacto, ¿verdad? We can use the quantifier. So we have these examples. Any volunteer to read these examples? Who wants to read them? Nobody? Then let's use someone. Da, 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 da. Vamos a ver, la que escoja no puede hacer pupusas. Eh, ok, Ana Ivania, can you help me? Ana Ivania, can you help me reading the sentences, please? Um, moment. Um, nearly, <clears throat> nearly all people in the group are single. Um, all people in the group have brothers and sisters. Most people in the group have pets. A lot of people can cook pupusas. All people in the group can cook coffee. Thank you so much. Oh, aquí an um, off is missing, right? A lot of. A lot of. A lot of, okay. yes. Yes, let's write it here. Over there. A lot of people can cook pupusas. Thank you so much. Let's choose another person. Thank you, Vania. Very good job. Let's go with Ronald. Can you please help me, Ronald, within these sentences? Okay. Nearly all people in the group are single. All people in the group have brother and sister. Most people in the group have pets. A lot of people can cook pupusas. All people in the group can cook coffee. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Excellent job. That was perfect. So let's continue with this. Yes, when you are using quantifiers, we need to be careful about the countable and uncountable nouns. Do you remember about countable and uncountable nouns? Lo vieron hace dos módulos, si no me equivoco. Countable and non-countable nouns. Nombres que se pueden contar y nombres que no se pueden contar. Do you remember about them? Sugar, for example. Countable or uncountable? No countable. No countable. No countable. No countable. Uh, no countable. Very good. Uh, let's see. Apples. Countable. 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 Salt. No, no contable. contable. Milk. No contable. No contable. contable. Avocados. Contable. Contable. Okay. So let's go with these. Quantifier plus and contable nouns. So we can use we can use these quantifiers plus an uncountable noun. Es, podemos utilizar los siguientes quantifier con nombres no contables. Not countable nouns or uncountable nouns. So there are much, a little, a little, 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 very little, sí, a, bi, a bit, a bit of, a great deal of, a large amount of, a large quantity of. So we can use this quantifier plus an uncountable noun. Look at this example. Would you like a little wine? What's the meaning of this? Would you like a little wine? Me gustaría un poco de vino. Okay, the next, could I have a bit of butter, please? 
Podría tener un poco de mantequilla, por favor. Okay. And much sugar is bad for your health. Mucho azúcar es mala para su salud. Así es, much sugar is bad for your health. And I have this a large quantity of. Una gran cantidad. Una gran cantidad. A large sí. quantity of water. Is it good or bad for your health? It's good. A large quantity of water is good for your health. For your health, yes. Okay, so remember these. These quantifiers are used with uncountable nouns. Let's go to the next. Quantifier plus countable and uncountable nouns. The following quantifiers we can use with both countable and uncountable nouns. Los siguientes podemos utilizarlos con nombres contables y nombres contables. No contables y contables. They are all, some, more, a lot of, and no, no, any, most, lot of, and less. Do you know the meaning of these quantifiers? What is the meaning of all? Todo. Todo. What is the meaning of some? Alguno. 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 Or Más. a lot Mucho. of, a lot of. Mucho. Suficiente. Eh, no, suficiente. suficiente. No. 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 Sería oh. ninguno. Bueno. Ninguno. Nada. Any. Alguno. Alguno. Must. Mucho. Mucho. Muchos. Lot of. Suficiente. Lots of, mucho también. Mucho. Mucho. Less. Menos. 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 So look at the example. We have lots of time. We have lots of time. What is the meaning of this sentence? We have lots of time. Tenemos un poco de tiempo. O suficiente tiempo. Okay. Joe has lots of friends. Joe has lots of friends. Joe. Joe. Tiene muchos amigos. Yes, I can go out. I don't have any money. No puedo salir. No tengo mucho dinero. Okay, there was a lot of food, but no drinks. What's the meaning of there was a lot of food, but no drinks? Mucha, mucha comida, comida, pero, pero ninguna. No bebida. Ok. No tequila, no beers. Mm. <laughs> okay, se no. enojan. <laughs> There Today was a lot of food, but no drinks. Ah, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Friday. <laughs> It's Friday. We are waiting tomorrow for tomorrow. <laughs> ok. Now look at this. Time is countable or uncountable. Time. Contable o no contable? Contable. 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 No, un contable. It's uncountable. It's so, a lot of, look at this. En la primera oración está con un nombre incontable, time. En la segunda, friend is contable. So, we can contable. use both. Ah, ok. Podemos utilizarlos en ambos, right? Countables or non countable nouns. Let's go with quantifier plus countable nouns. Los siguientes quantifiers los vamos a utilizar con nombres contables. So we have many, a few, few, very few, a number of, several, a large number of, a great number of, a majority of. So Look at the example. Few snakes are dangerous. Few snakes are dangerous. Most children like chocolate. A great number of people like sports. What's the meaning of the first sentence? Few snakes are dangerous. A snake is a... Serpiente. Serpiente, ¿no? 
Pocas serpientes son peligrosas. Most children, most children like chocolate. La mayoría de los niños les gusta mm -hmm. el chocolate. Mm -hmm. yes. a, a great number of people like sports. Un gran número de personas le gusta el deporte. Le gusta el deporte. Le deporte. Okay, so remember this. These quantifiers are used with countable nouns. Do you have any question? No question. Several teacher. Eh, varios. Varios. Okay, thank you. No questions. Then let's have a practice. Let's have the last practice for tonight. Let's see. Give me a second. I'm going to need another whiteboard here. Okay, ice cream. Uh, Ice cream. ¿A cuántas personas creen que les gusta el ice cream? ¿Cuál quantifier podríamos utilizar? Some people. Some people. Nearly all. Nearly all. Nearly all. Yes. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Nearly all. Like people like people like people ice cream. Like people ice cream. Like ice cream. Ice cream. Okay, nearly all people like ice cream. And what about chocolate? Nearly all too. Nearly all. Which other one? Instead of nearly all, um, which is another option. What is another most, option? A lot of people most, like most, chocolate. Most people. Okay, most people, most people like, like chocolate. chocolate. Like chocolate, very good. Uh, what about, let's see, um, avocado? No, avocados. Some people. Some, some people. people. Some people like avocado. Some people, are you sure? They are very popular. Mm. Many, many people. Okay, we can say many people like avocado. Like avocado. Many people like avocados. Very good. Now let's see. Um, ¿A cuántas personas le gustarán los deportes? A lot of some, people. A lot of some people. people. Some people. Some people. A lot of. Okay, some people. Like. Some people practice. Let's like. Practice. 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 Sport. 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 Algunas personas nada más. And some people practice sport. Now, let's see. Eh, ¿Dónde vive la mayoría de personas? ¿En el sitio o en el countryside? ¿En el Salvador? En el sitio. En el sitio. En el sitio. ¿Cómo yeah. diríamos eso? Muchísimas personas o muchas personas viven en la ciudad. ¿Cómo dice? A lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people. Lot of people, people live in the city. Hola, hola. En esta ocasión. Okay, a lot of people live in the city. Ya iba a comenzar a bailar. ¿Por, ¿por qué la quitaron? <laughs> so, a lot of people live in the city. A lot of people live in the city. So, we can use this quantifier to say this, right? So, los animales salvajes, la mayoría son peligrosos. ¿Qué yes. cantidad? ¿Qué los cantidad? Salvajes. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo podríamos decir eso? Nearly all. 
Okay. Okay. Sí, Juan. Vale. Sí. 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 Dangerous. Nearly all white animals are dangerous. Okay, nice. Do you have an equation about quantifiers? Questions? No questions. Is it guys? No question. Yes, no question. Are you ready for the final exam? Teacher, you allow me to say this. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Congratulations. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. 100%. If so, you can, okay, um, if you can do it, the final exam during the weekend, it is going to be okay, right? Tomorrow you are going to have time. Right? You are going to have um, free time to do this, right? Complete the platform, please, and take the final exam. Do you have any question tonight? If you have okay. any problem, any question, and the final exam, just write on the WhatsApp group, and we're going to be happy to help you. If I can't, one of your classmates can help you, right? You are doing very good. Uh, tell me, Luis, do you have a question? Luis, hello? No, 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 teacher, no. No question, a comment? No question. Preguntas? Mm. Quejas, reclamos, no, 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 okay. It's Then, okay. Today is Thursday. Uh, enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday at 8 p.m. Right? Okay. Thanks okay. a lot during okay. your weekend. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Good Have evening. Good night. Good, 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 good night. God bless you. Goodbye, good teacher. Thank Have you. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye, Oscar.